January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Today, the Junior League of Portland hosted an event to start a conversation about how it's happening locally and how it takes a community to help the people who are most vulnerable. Intervention Advisory Committee. Hundreds of people gathered in Portland on a gloomy Saturday morning to talk about how to fight human trafficking. And it's something that's very easy to uh, turn a blind eye to and not pay attention to. But it's so important that we combat this issue head on. The Junior League of Portland hosted an Awareness Day reception, bringing together local businesses, civic groups, and leaders like Multnomah County Commissioner Shashila J. Paul to learn more about an issue that has consistently been a pervasive problem in Oregon. Sex trafficking is one of those issues that's incredibly complicated, has incredible impact locally, and is hidden in plain sight. In recent years, Oregon, particularly Portland, has been in the national spotlight for trafficking, especially for cases involving children forced into prostitution. Jay Paul says leadership bringing together multiple law enforcement and state agencies is making a difference, but more can be done. It's not one organization, it's not one person. We have to come together as a community to really make an impact. The Junior League has focused on the issue for more than a decade, even producing a documentary about trafficking. But in their first ever summit on the issue, they brought in community groups like the Cupcake Girls to share information. 58% of the traffickers are actually female. And a call to action. We bring uh, cupcakes to different people, business partners, and even our clients here in the Portland metropolitan area. And we say, hey, you want to have a cupcake with us? And we'll talk about sex trafficking. It creates an opportunity to sit down and be vulnerable and, and have these open-ended questions about what is sex trafficking. Well, if you want to get involved, you can check out this story on coin.com for a list of local businesses supporting the Cupcake Girls efforts all month long. The Junior League is also hosting a delicate drive. They're working to bring undergarments to victims of human trafficking, something that a lot of them need, they say, as they move into rehab and recovery.